Join CB Near as we explore the scientific method. Hi everyone, this week's theme for Summer on the Bay is the scientific method. And the reason we're gonna talk about the scientific method today is because it's basically the foundation of any kind of experiment or research. And during this video, we are going to be conducting our own experiment using the scientific method. And we're gonna go over those six steps. And the first step being asking a question. So we'll pop that on our board here. So of course you wanna know why you're conducting that experiment. So you wanna ask a question, why are we doing it? So today's experiment, we are gonna be looking at the freezing temperatures of about five different liquids. And we're gonna see which ones freeze faster than the others. So now that we've asked a question, we're gonna move on to the second step of the scientific method. And that's going to be conducting some background research. So we'll pop that up on the board. And the reason that this is important is because all of that background information that we gather is really gonna help us in step number three. So now that we've concluded all of our background information, we're gonna move on to step number three, and that is going to be making a hypothesis. So we'll pop that up here. And that hypothesis is that if-then statement that you form based on your previous knowledge that you've gathered. And once we finish our experiment and we gather all that data, we're gonna either see if our hypothesis was correct or maybe it was proved wrong. So now that we have formed our hypothesis, we're gonna jump into step number four of the scientific method, and that's going to be testing your hypothesis. And in my opinion, this is the best step because this is actually where we get to jump in and conduct our experiment. For today's experiment, we're gonna see which one of these five liquids freezes the quickest. Maybe it's milk, orange juice, sweet tea, a Kool-Aid burst, or water. You can make your own data sheet at home. When you check on your liquids every 30 minutes, if they did freeze, you can put a check mark, and if they didn't, you can put an X. So now that we have completed our experiment, we are gonna move on to step number five, and that's going to be analyzing your data. And this is the step where we're gonna see if the results either support or maybe it proved our hypothesis wrong. So this brings us to the final step of the scientific method, and that is reporting your results. So once you've analyzed that data, you wanna be able to share your results. And so using the scientific method, you guys can do a lot of very easy experiments right at home.